I have to announce to you tonight that jail business is booming. <laughs> I don't know whether you consider that a good thing or a bad, but our local law enforcement and our local Commonwealth Attorney's Office is doing an excellent job as far as catching the folks that ought to be locked up, and I'm putting them in jail as required. So, as you can imagine, with that, the price has gone up. All right, we, uh, we're not getting any, our jail's not getting any bigger as the years go by, but my inmate population is increasing dramatically. Uh, this morning I had 99 people in that jail up there, and I think 36 over at uh, Dixie Caverns at the Western Regional Jail, to the tune of $30 a day per inmate. All right, the latest figures I have from last year was uh, <clears throat> my average daily population, when you factor all the ones I'm holding over at Weir's Cave, uh, not Weir's Cave, but Dixie Caverns, and here was 119.7 pole. So far this year through 228, it's 134.38. So the price has gone up considerably just simply because of the number of inmates we have. Uh, there's no discretion in this at all. When the court tells me to put them in jail, I simply have to lock them up. I have to provide a myriad of services for these inmates. I'm sure you're tired of hearing me over the years tell all about it, but you know, we run everything. Uh, a library, kitchen, I serve over 110 to 15,000 meals a year up there. There's probably not a restaurant in Covey that could boast that, those numbers. So this year I'm not asking for any new staff, I'm not asking for any new programs. I'm just simply asking for the amount of money it takes to run the jail so that I don't have to come back to you at the end of the year and ask for you know additional funds, budget cleanups. So this year I'm asking for roughly 9.3 increase in our budget. Uh, and that will just simply, in my opinion, cover the cost associated with the operation of the regional jail. I have several factors I have no control over. The budget for housing of juveniles comes out of my budget. There's no, I don't have juveniles, but it, it's gotta go somewhere so it's in my budget. So one year it'll be way down, one year it'll be way up, this year's way up, and then when that goes way up above the budgeted amount, I've gotta come up with the difference out of my budget. And it's something I have absolutely no control over. And as always, I have no control over the number of people that get arrested and get put in jail. So 9.3%, I know it's a lot, but it amounts to $194,298 increase. 194, 298. And all I'm asking for is, you know, what I consider to be real-time numbers. Um, no huge increases in anything except perhaps the, how, the, the price I need to house inmates in Weir's Cave over at uh, Dixie Caverns. I've asked for uh, $250,000 for the coming year, and I think that'll fairly cover it. And, you know, once again, I've stood before you folks for years and told you, but a long-term solution to this overcrowding needs to be looked at. You know, in my opinion, there's gonna come a time you're gonna have to hire a consulting firm, an architectural firm. I got, I got ideas how we can do things, but I'm not an architect. I don't know everything about what it takes to add onto a building or an annex or whatever. But sooner or later, those, those numbers will cross and it will be cheaper to fix the solution than to temporarily kick the can down the road. So, and I know money's a concern, so, but at least give it some thought. Any questions? I have one, I thought I asked you at that time. Can you get these inmates to an out of area? Uh, Mr. Knox, I can't off the top of my head tell you. I mean, when you consider, when you consider I had 43,707 inmate days last year, it, it's impossible to, to give you that number without going back and doing a hand search of it. But the bulk of them are local people. Right. The, you know, the drug problem in this area is just beyond belief. You know, they'll call it a crisis or whatever you want, but the, the opioid problem and the meth problem in this area is a spiraling out of control constant. You know, every week it gets worse. And the local law enforcement are doing their very best, but it, it just seems like that's the biggest problem. And then you've got all the associated crimes with it, you know. People's got to go out here and break into your home and steal something to go buy it, support their drug habit or whatever. So it's all interlaced. So like I say, the jail business is, is not getting any cheaper and it's not going away. 
and I do everything I possibly can to hold these costs down. I'm the most fiscally conservative person you'll ever meet, but it costs what it costs. I can't get away from it, so I know it's a lot of money, so please give me consideration. And if any of you ever have any specific questions, hunt me down, I'm easy to find. I'd be glad to answer any of them. Any other questions? 